Hello. Oh, hey, how are you? Yeah, I'm okay, thanks. Just gearing up to do a review. Oh, nothing interesting, just the latest Marvel nonsense. Yeah, it's that Captain Marvel film that came out. Now I couldn't make any sense of it either. It's one of those generic, the protagonist has amnesia films. You know, the ones where they're like legally obliged to have a line saying, I don't even know who I am. I mean, the problem is there's nothing actually interesting to say about it, you know, it's just generic. Plenty of generic banter. There's a bit when there's these aliens called the Kree. Uh, they're on a dropship and chatting to each other, but it's like, that scene could be in anything. It could have been in the Vietnam War or in World War II or whatever. It just didn't, didn't have anything specifically alien about it. Yeah, even the alien city is like super generic. You know, what's the point of making them aliens if their costumes and their city and their culture is all exactly the same as stuff on Earth? Yeah, it's just that typical Marvel thing of being as bland as possible. Only this time it's draped in this 90s jukebox soundtrack and pop culture references. I mean, is it really funnier if you reference Blockbuster instead of Netflix? Yeah, same characters are all in it. Uh, you've got Nick Fury, Samuel L. Jackson. Only this time he's playing a de-aged version of himself. They've done that Benjamin Button thing to him. He looks okay. Uh, he looks a little bit like a Ken doll, but it's par for the course. And otherwise they're just referencing people no one really cares about. Like, there's this guy with two swords who was in Gardens of the Galaxy for like five minutes. And there was a guy uh, with blue skin in a hood with a big, uh, big weapon. No, not the one from For the Dark World, the one from Gardens of the Galaxy. Yeah. To be honest, the whole thing was so disparate and kind of like badly put together. I was just thinking about reading my notes out on screen because it'd make about as much sense as the movie. I don't know if that's too obvious a joke or not. I'm not sure if people like it. Yeah, Brie Larson's in it. She, uh, she plays Captain Marvel. She's a central character. She's okay. Um, she can't really seem to decide what kind of performance she wants to do. Sometimes she's so damaged and stoic that it seems like she's kind of going for PTSD. And the other bits of it, she's like really canned bits and jokey doing the generic Marvel banter thing. So it's kind of hard to get a handle on her. She sort of has superpowers at the start, but then she has real superpowers by the end. In fact, she's so completely overpowered, it's kind of hard to imagine how she's going to fit into the next Avengers movie. Maybe she'll spend her time making chicken paprikash with the other overpowered characters. That's how Marvel's previously dealt with it. And by far the worst thing about the film is that it just can't really decide what it wants to be. You know, I was watching this fight scene that's soundtracked by a No Doubt song because how hard can you push 90s nostalgia? And it just cut out and was replaced with generic foreboding soundtrack number five. You know, with all the flying around, pew pew, laser firing spaceship stuff, I was thinking, at what point does this stop being an underbaked superhero origin story and just start being a bad sci-fi movie? I mean, that's the interesting question, isn't it? Is it feminist? The film sort of plays it, I guess, in its subtext, but it never really seems interested in exploring it, beyond having a central female character, of course, which I agree is good for representation. Little girls should have action heroes as well. But it's not like she's an interesting or deep character. It's like they heard, we need strong female characters and just made her the most overpowered character in the Marvel Universe, which I suppose makes her about as underwritten as any other late stage MCU character. Anyway, I better go and actually do this review because I'm seeing you later so we can talk then. All right, bye mate, have a good one.